Hey guys, doing this short review of the Moto G62 5G. It's got a 6.5 inch 1080 by 2400 pixels, a 50 megapixel camera on the back, 4 gigabytes of RAM with a Snapdragon 480 processor, and a 500 and a 5000 milliamp hour battery. It's got a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera with 1.8 aperture, an 8 megapixel 2.2 aperture ultra wide camera, and a 2.4, it's got a 2 megapixel 2.4 macro camera. It can record 1080p video at 30 and 60 frames a second on the back camera. Front camera is a 16 megapixel 2.2 wide camera with 1080p at 30 frames a second. It's got dual speakers, one, one on the front there, one on the bottom there. Doesn't use the earpiece as a speaker. It's got a can charge at 15 watts wired, get a midnight grey or frosted blue colours. I got it 400 bucks, it's not worth 400 to me, it's worth 300 to 250 bucks. It's got 128 gigabytes storage with 4 gigabytes of RAM, micro SD card slot on it. So you can extend them, expand the memory on it. Got a 6.5 inch display. Let's test the 4G speed test on it. Uh, it does a decent job of download, but the upload is probably the worst. Uh, decent. And it came with this silicone case, or condom case if you want to call it that. The cameras are decent on it. <coughs> can take some okay okay photos some blurry shots take some decent low light shots as well there's the front camera if you can see it and back camera it's got um dual capture video and dual capture photo with it. You can do two of the back camera and then split it, do it the other way around and then do two half screen shots and then flip it to the back camera and then swap it again which is pretty good, in my opinion, on slow motion. Does all right. All in all, I've been using this device for two weeks. It's good if you're on a budget or mid-range smartphone. Doesn't cost the earth to get it. It's got an FM radio on on board, so you plug in your headphones down yeah, the bottom here to get that to listen to FM radio. It's got a I think it's glass or plastic screen, which I have dropped it, and it's got a little scratch on the screen. 
can't hardly see it, but in direct sunlight, you can see it. Got everything you want for basics. If you just want it for watching YouTube, doing social media, emails, online shopping, banking, some light games, some light editing, this is a good choice for you. So, I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Take my head out, and I'll see you on the next review.